Hey guys, it's Jordan here. Working on a 2015 Freightliner Cascadia with a DD15 engine. We're on the uh, Detroit program here. We have two active faults. And now I'm looking at the coolant outlet temperature sensor. Minimum temperature plausibility. Plausibility means it wasn't rational. It wasn't what it expected to see during the test event. This happened, last event happened on 11-6. We're going to go to traditional troubleshooting. Basically get the uh, truck, get the engine, the operational temperature, which I am doing a regen now, not right now, a mild one, so I can get the temperature raised fairly quickly, rather than just putting my foot on a pedal spending 45 minutes to get it up to temperature sitting still. This is what the flow chart looks like for this fault code. This is pretty much a thermostat fault code for me. I have replaced a lot of uh, engine thermostats on a newer DD15. Like I said, this is a 2015 model. Uh, you just get stuck, freeze up, then they get unfrozen, they work fine, intermittent. I guess I'll finish up running down the flow chart here. That is it. I'm going to go back up the fault codes here. This is already in once. In the shop once so these two faults here today is the ninth this happened on the eighth this here also happened on the eighth and this one here was on the sixth the latest occurrence If I'm reading this fault code, engine coolant inlet temperature circuit failed high, it mean to me that the sensor was just unplugged. And it's not active, it's previously confirmed. The same way with this, that would correlate with this one up here. Them two are quite together. And then this also would verify that this one, this fault code here, engine coolant inlet temperature circuit failed high, and this fault code here, coolant temperature signal not available via CAN, central area network. All the modules communicate on this network line. And that being unplugged is going to throw this fault code. And again, I'm not worried about that. It's previously confirmed, previously active. Not an issue. So right now I'm raising the engine coolant temperature to verify the operation of the thermostat. Then the fuel, water, separator, heater, fuse, probably blown. I haven't checked that out yet. Right now I'm just waiting on the uh, engine to get up the temperature. To make sure that the engine fan does kick on, does cycle when it gets up the temperature. Make sure there's no other issues with the cooling system.
but I will be uh, ordering and replacing the engine thermostat at 4193 code I've gotten a lot like I said that thermostat will stick and will operate fine and if you see we've seen the dates on that that happened uh, the first occurrence happened 10th month 27th day and the last occurrence here was 11 6 it's a little bit of a time lapse there well, we're just gonna do a thermostat right now I'm just getting the engine up to temperature and make sure the engine fan kicks on when it gets up to temperature a lot of times I'd find a bad solenoid it's not kicking on the fan but it's not programmed to kick on the fan at a certain temperature different variables there different situations but this one here definitely putting on the engine thermostat I think I'm going to end it there. It's getting up a temperature now. As you can see, it's working fine. But again, be very careful in the way that the fault codes are worded. In my case, the way it's worded and the dates, which was yesterday, is when this truck was in the shop. They had ordered sensor, they ordered a sensor. I don't know which one or what one they did, but there's two different, there's a high, two different sensors for the coolant. I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching.